what's up guys welcome back to another self-care sunday video today we have some more fun little self-care tasks to do it's a little bit later so it's gonna be more of a self-care night however i did kind of start my self-care routine a little bit throughout the day this morning i did a little oil treatment on my hair because it is hair wash day so i recorded that so i'll insert clips of me doing that basically i just sprayed my hair with my rosemary water that has castor oil and rosemary oil in it and then i put a hair mask in and then i did a bunch of different oils in my scalp castor oil, grapeseed oil, the miel, rosemary, mint oil, and then these two hair serums from The Ordinary. And I also cleaned my makeup brushes, which I'll talk about that a little bit in a second, but while I talk to you guys, I'm gonna put on this heated hair cap from Keratin, and I got this like a while back. They sent it to me, and I never even used it, and I just like wanna try it because why not? So I just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds, I think is what it suggested. I look a little bit crazy, but it's okay. We'll see. It's supposed to just like I think lock in like all the mask and the oils I know you're supposed to put a mask on right before you use it. So I have this on my head Earlier today, I actually cleaned my makeup brushes for the first time in a while I guess I can consider that self-care because it's like doing something to care for myself Um, because the reason I did it is because my skin's been breaking out and I just feel like that's part of the reason So I cleaned my makeup brushes earlier and that was a really good experience because it needed to be done So I'm really happy that I finally got that done I actually like feel a lot better mentally that I got that done because that was something that's been on my to-do list for so long and I feel like that's definitely like self-care because I checked it off my to-do list and I feel a little bit better but we have a lot of fun little self-care tasks that we want to tackle today I'm gonna to leave this on my head for like 20 minutes we have some other self-care tasks to get done and one of them includes doing whitening strips which I think is something that I should put on now because I have to leave them on for an hour so I might as well like wear them in the shower wear them now all that kind of stuff um, we did the oil treatment we have the heated hair cap on everything else that is is hair related I'll do in the shower and after the shower I do want to do an armpit mask but I have to wait till this has been on my head for 15 minutes so once it reaches like five minutes left I'll do the armpit mask um, and then the rest of the stuff is like in the shower and after the shower actually one of the things is before the shower I should do but let me get the whitening strips we'll put those in and then I'll tell you guys what else I want to do so I'm going to the dentist tomorrow and not that it matters if my teeth are white but I definitely want to like floss tonight and just like I don't know get my teeth right for tomorrow so it's not too bad of an experience going i do floss like a good amount but 
but recently I haven't been the best at being consistent, so. But I do want to whiten my teeth, so we're putting these whitening strips on. These are just the Crest ones. My family is like big Giants fans, and Brandon is actually here today too, but they're outside in the garage, like my brother and his friends, and Brandon's there. So while they're out there watching football, I was out there with them for a little bit, but I'm inside doing my little self-care night. Okay, so I took my sweatshirt off because I'm going to do a face mask, and I don't want to have to like take the sweatshirt off over the face mask. I just decided I was going to do it now. I was going to do it after the shower, but I realized that I'm just sitting here with this heated cap in my head, so I might as well do the face mask now, but I do have a little bit of makeup on, so I'm going to take off the makeup I have on just with some micellar water. And now I probably sound like I'm talking weird because I have the whitening strips in. Alright, we have our little brush, and we're just going to use the Inky List Kellen Clay Mask, which I actually really, really like this mask, but ever since I bought the Caudalie one, I've been, like, reaching towards that one since it's also a clay mask, but I definitely have been neglecting this one, so I'm pulling it out again. And also, with these self-care Sunday videos, I want to try to, like, switch up the products I'm using somewhat so it's not like too repetitive because obviously i'm going to be doing this every week so i want to switch out the products and also like self-care tasks that i'm doing so like certain things i won't do every week and then other things i'll do certain weeks you know i'll switch it up as much as i can so like that these can stay exciting and then if there's anything that you really like watching me do and you want to see like every week and maybe like me switching out products for it but still do it every week definitely let me know or if you have any product suggestions for like certain things that you know i do typically um definitely also let me know of those because i love getting product suggestions and just like yeah so i'm just applying this face mask and this i think has to stay on for 15 minutes i want to say and so i'll just like wash it off when i get in the shower yeah oh it says 10 minutes whatever all right i'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and we're gonna go through the list see if there's anything else that i could do before i get in the shower all right guys we have five more minutes left for the hair mask and the face mask so we're gonna put the mega babe happy pits detoxifying underarm mask on because this only has to stay on for five minutes i love how it has like this applicator and you could just like squeeze it out and just rub it right on it's so easy to use then once this is done in five minutes we will hop in the shower and wash it off wash the face mask off wash my hair shave my legs i think all that good stuff so let's get it all right guys so i'm gonna run you through a quick little shower routine i started with my dr bronner's bar soap and a washcloth for my base clean then it was hair wash day so we went in with olplex number 4c this is a clarifying shampoo and it is amazing i just used that with my scalp massager and just got my hair nice and clean then i went in with this shea moisture hair mask it is amazing for hydration and works wonders for my super thick hair and while that set in my hair i exfoliated i used the tree hut scrub for my body i used the olay kp scrub for my arms because i do have kp on my arms and i also made sure to scrub my feet with this like pumice stone thing then i went in with my amazon razor and the tropic glow shave oil from tree hut and i shaved my legs and after that i exfoliated the downstairs area with this european wax center scrub and exfoliating gloves after that it was time to rinse out the hair mask and go in with my conditioner which is also from shea moisture and once i rinsed that out i went in with this native body wash with my silicone body brush and i used a feminine wash afterwards i love this one from zero taboos and then i went in with my olay in shower body lotion just to finish it all off and make my skin feel extra smooth all right guys i just got out of the shower let me make sure my door is shut so before we do our skincare usually i'll do skincare before body care but it's that time of the month which means i just want to get in clothes asap and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do for like feminine hygiene area my skin's a mess um i just have the camera up here because i'm standing but let me show you guys what i'm gonna use so first is my little magic trick this is witch hazel. It's just literally plain alcohol free witch hazel. I just put it in a dropper bottle and I'm going to take this on a cotton pad and literally wipe the backside area. It literally will keep you fresh all day. I always do it right after I shower and then sometimes I'll do it like one or two times throughout the day just to freshen up. I also did just get a Brazilian wax the other day. So usually afterwards I like to keep up with my waxness doctor bump. It is a natural ingrown hair body lotion. It's like a roll-on thing and it's supposed to prevent and treat ingrown. So I like to put this on and I like to turn 
Target and in areas that I have ingrowns and then I'll go over it with the European Wax Center Slow Fragrance Free Body Lotion which I'm almost out of. I literally love this moisturizer for the downstairs area. I use it every single day. So I'm going to be using those three products for down there then for the rest of my body. Then for the rest of my body I'm going to be using the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I really only have a little bit left but I think this pairs well with the scents that I use. I don't really need much because I'm going to use other products which I'll show you guys. So recently the brand Maylis sent me their firming creams. This is the B Foxy firming cream for the inner thighs. This is B Flats for the belly and this is B Tight which is for your butt and basically I'm just going to try to put these on and see if it actually works. You're supposed to use it two times a day for it to actually work and it's supposed to feel like hot and tingly so I'm going to try to use these so I won't be putting the Boom Boom Cream in those areas. I'll put that on the rest of my body though and I'll let you guys know what I think about these, how they feel and everything but I know that like for long term results you have to use it twice a day so I can't really tell you guys much but I do love the packaging of these and I'm excited to try them out and see how they feel. And then for my underarms I'm going to be putting some of the Ordinary Glycolic Acid under my arms. This is supposed to help decrease odor. I like to use it two to three times a week on my underarms and then after that I'm going to follow up with a aluminum free deodorant. This is the native one in the scent Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla which is the same body wash that I just used in the shower. So I'm going to go ahead put all these body care products on and sit down and let you guys know what I think about those like firming creams because this is my first time trying them. Also sorry I'm still talking weird. I still have my whitening strips in so let's go do the body care and I'll come back. All right guys my body care is done. Literally my body's on fire right now. These bottles said on this which I knew before using them that you're going to feel heat for up to two hours. I did not expect it to be this bad. It literally feels like my body's on fire like I'm not even getting and it doesn't feel safe like is this stuff safe whatever we're just gonna stick it out I'm gonna try really hard just like ignore it and like go along with my skincare so I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing I'm gonna take these out because I feel like I can't talk all right so for my facial spray because I always use a facial spray I'm using the tower 28 SOS spray today I like to really use this one when my skin is breaking out because it honestly helps the breakouts a lot I have like mascara or something on my eyes all right, now I'm using my Holy Grail Biosan Squalene and Copper Peptide Plumping Serum. All right, now I'm using the Chemist Confessions Double Play Retinol and Haloxyl Serum. I just recently got this from them, and I'm supposed to do a campaign with them on TikTok for this, so I need to try out the product. Come on, well. Like, this is really, really hot. Okay, um, I'm forgetting to do eye patches, so I'm gonna put them on right now, even though I wanted to do them before I just did those steps, but I'm, like, unwell. Like, it's, like, really, 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 really hot right now. Brett. Yeah. Do you, did anybody ever tell you what they thought about these things? Because the back of the bottle says that you might feel heat on your body for two hours after using it, but, like, the heating sensation is like is like out of control. Really? I feel like my body's on fire. You're looking it up. Yeah. What did you look up? People are just saying that it's no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Someone said she does. It's starting to get itchy. Oh my god! This is the first time I've washed my hair in like um since last Friday. That's disgusting. Guys, I FaceTimed Brett because I was freaking... Ah. I FaceTimed Brett because I was freaking out about um, the things making my body burn on fire. It's 14. These pimple patches are so good. 
You know, you know Panoxyl, like the wash. Oh yeah. They they sell pimple patches. I got them on Amazon. They're like the best ones, I think. All right, Brett, I'm gonna go finish filming this video. Okay. All right, thinker. Bye. All right, guys, I was on FaceTime with Britt, but basically the burning sensation kind of slowed down. I was, like, freaking out because it was so hot. Like, not even being dramatic. But anyways, did my skincare. I don't even, what did I use? I used the Chemist Confessions thing. And then on my pimples, I put the CeraVe Acne Control Gel, and then I went over with my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And then I put on the Inky List Sicinic Acid Acne Treatment over the pimples, too. And now I'm going to seal it in with some pimple patches. And I've been trying to, like, do this routine with my pimples because I'm, like, really breaking out. And I need to get rid of these little blemishes. So that's what we are doing. So I'm just going to put these Panoxyl pimple patches over. I also use the Fenty Beauty, um lip mask which i or fenty skin lip mask which i have been loving lately it has just been so so good and i really like it i'm really happy that that like hot sensation though from those products slowed down because i don't know what i would have done if i felt like that all night like it was it was no joke and apparently the giants just won so that's great everyone's happy about it all right, let's tame this hair. I'm gonna take it out of the towel. I can turn my fan off now. All right, guys, so first for my hair, I'm gonna go in with the K18 Leave-In Molecule Repair Hair Mask. I just have the mini one. My best friend, Britt, the girl I was just on the phone with, um, gave me this for Christmas, so I'm just putting this through my hair. Also, guys, um, if you've been watching my channel, I got my nails done before my vacation, and I injured my pinky nail where like the real nail was like lifting from my nail bed so she couldn't put a nail over it so my whole vacation i had no pinky nail and then after vacation when i went back she would put a nail over it and i like jammed it recently like very lightly though but it's very sensitive because the nail is lifting from the nail bed still um so then i went and got my nails done and she i let her put another nail like i let her put the nail on like fix the nail and keep it on even though she basically was like you shouldn't if it hurts like it's gonna get or it's gonna hurt really bad whatever she was like you should just take off the nail and i was like no it's okay just do a short one literally the next day i was at the nail salon getting it removed i was in so much pain and we just got to do this in the meantime until the nail fully grows back so that's what we're doing that's why if you see my videos in the next few weeks i will have no pinky now. Next, we're going to go in with Olpex number nine. This is the Bomb Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. I love this stuff so much. And I'm actually not going to blow out my hair tonight. I'm actually going to put it in a braid and just let it air dry. I have been blowing it out for like the past weeks, but I really just don't feel like doing a blowout tonight at all. Next we're going in with the Kerastase um, Elixir, hair elixir. I'm just using two pumps because you really don't need much. I just emulsify it between my hands and just rub it all through my hair. All right, let's braid this hair. I'm just going to brush through it. It's not naughty because I brushed it right before I went in the shower. And usually when I do that, it stays pretty like smooth and not tangled. Um, so yeah, but we're just going to... Make sure it's all. I'm literally just putting it in one braid. All right, braid is in the hair. Now we're gonna deal with these cuticles. My cuticles get super dry in the winter, so I like to use cuticle oils, cuticle butters, lots of hand cream, all that good stuff. So we're gonna use the L'Occitan cuticle oil. It's their nail and cuticle oil, and it's a little brush on one, which I absolutely love. I got this when I went to their holiday event in the city and it was a great time they gave me a lot of great products so literally you just brush it on your cuticles and i love this stuff it's just so easy to use i luckily have two of them so one is in my work bag and then one i just leave home here and then i need the extra love so i'll just go over that with the sally hansen cuticle butter and i probably got this at like target or something but i'm just taking it on my fingers and we're just gonna run it over my nails and then to seal that all in we'll use the l'occitane hand cream this is their delicious hands one 
I love their hand creams. They're literally the best hand creams ever. So locking all the moisture with a hand cream, of course. All right, guys, I am going to floss. I have two floss sticks. I don't know why they're different ones. I just grabbed two. I'm going to sit here and floss for a little bit and then brush my teeth. I just, like, need to floss. I haven't. Sleek. Well, I didn't sleek, but I feel like I just need to be better about it. So I'm going to sit here and floss and try to find something that I want to watch. So, yeah. Tell me how I had this whole plan to, like, watch something and, like, chill in bed. I spent hours on TikTok. No joke. TikTok for me is like a black hole. I'm whispering because somebody is sleeping in my parents' room. This is the best not best not wash I've ever used. I love it. All right, guys, I'm taking my butt to bed. I'm so tired. Thanks for hanging out with me this Sunday. I may or may not do another self-care Sunday next weekend. I don't know if I'm going to do them every single weekend. That's just something that I have to, like, still think about. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.